if you have not heard by now, I've got a new book coming out. Uh, actually, you'll be able to pre-order it later this week. I'm doing this program on Monday, January 9th, 2017, and it will be, late, be available on Amazon for pre-order later this week. And the book is called <laughs> Uncopyable, How to Create an Unfair Advantage Over Your competition. And uh, those of you that have followed me long enough, you know that I really like to talk about being uncopyable, about being superior to the competition, not just in ways of being better, but in ways of being different, unique, very, very difficult to copy. That's the only way you are going to be able to protect yourself from competition. Now, I was reminded of one of my strategies this week because I received a gift. I received a gift from my mom. It was a little bit of a late Christmas gift, but that's okay. She sent Kay and I each, are you ready for this? She sent us a pillow. Here we go, Does that, can you see that? It's a pillow. And the, the cool thing about this pillow, if you can see, is that on this, he says, this is guaranteed the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. Now on the inside, he's got, and it's called My Pillow. Uh, and I've tried it out. It's pretty darn comfortable. Now I, I'm not going to get into any discussion about the, the whether it's organic, the you know, or or any of the materials or anything like that. I'm simply talking about the marketing and branding part because you see in my book I talk about that there are basically three, count them three, uh, different ways, different different types of things that you can do that will help you be uncopyable from the competition. One of them is creating an uncopyable experience, you know, and I'll probably talk about this at a, at a different time. Uh, uh, another one is that you can create uncopyable innovation in how to do that. Uh, but the third one, which I'm going to br briefly talk about today, is the innovate, is, is the uncopyable branding strategy that you can have. Now branding, for some people, branding seems to be a, fu a funny thing. It's a fuzzy word. And essentially what I, the way I look at branding is that branding is the promise that you are making to the marketplace that clearly separates you from the crowd. Again, to repeat, it's not saying you are better than the competition. It's not saying you are cheaper than the competition. It's probably not even saying that you're faster than the competition. You know, they, they you know they talk about being you know better, cheaper, faster. Well, you know what? Each one of those is a copyable. Uh, c component. You know, if you say you're the fastest at something right now, well, you're, you're only the fastest until somebody catches up with you and passes you. You know, being fastest uh, is, is eminently copyable. Being cheapest, always copyable and beatable. And by the way, if you compete on price, you will die on price. You're gonna die. Do not compete on price. Better, again, if you make a better product in today's technology, the way technology is today, uh, better just means uh, until somebody else copies you and makes it better than you, and then you do, and then that vicious circle starts starts all over again. So, uh, so what I'm looking for are doing things that make you uncopyable or almost, you know, uh, making it really, really hard to copy you. Uh, that the competition will just simply either they can't do it. They won't do it, you know, or it's an area that uh, does not fit their their expertise. I guess that fits into the can't do it and stuff like that. But anyway, when I got the my pillow thing, it reminded me. Oops, reminded me of uh, you know of the branding of the uncopyable branding strategy that that I talk about in my book, and it also reminds me of another client that I'm going to mention here in just a second. But you see, here's what here's what this guy did with the my pillow. Now you can go to mypillow.com. I've uh, put that on the uh, link on here uh, for you. Uh, uh, you know, but you can see that what he has done is he has taken ownership of a very, very strong promise, guaranteed to be the most comfortable pillow you will ever own. And the guarantee is a 10 year guarantee. Uh, it doesn't say that right here. Let me find it in here. Nope, it's not, it doesn't, it, it is in here. Okay. Um, it's, it's right there, 10 year guarantee. Okay, see that 10 year guarantee. But what else does he have now? So, so he is taking ownership of a statement. So what that does is by taking ownership of that statement, the guarantee, guaranteed the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own, it makes it very, very difficult for the for the competition to copy that. See, they can't go out and say, oh, we're the best, we're the most comfortable pillow or we're the best pillow or something like that. No, he has taken ownership of this. 
and if he's loud enough with it, and if he gets it out into the marketplace, then others can't really copy that, all right? They have to come up with something else that is different from this. Now, in addition to that, he also has that it's the official, where is it? Here you go. Official uh, um, pillow of the National Sleep Foundation. Now, I don't know what the National Sleep Foundation is, but it sure sounds official to me. And you'll also notice that it's also made in the US, USA. Uh, and, uh, and when, and, and, and something that he does that I think is also very unique is that he has a thing, you know, where he says, okay, when you, when you get your purchase, go in and register so that you can, uh, uh claim, get your 10 year warranty, right? You got to get in there and register. Now, what happens when we go out and register products? Uh, we ask people to register products. We basically ask them for every piece of information in their life, um, except maybe, well, you know what? I can't say that, but anyway. Uh, you know, we ask them for their name, their address, their company, their social security number, credit card numbers. We ask for, uh, uh, you know, date of birth. We ask if they're married. We ask if they, they have a job. We ask what their income is. You know, we ask, we ask them if they've, uh, if they have any felon, if they've ever been charged with a felony or convicted or anything like that. We ask them who they voted for in the election. We ask them all these questions. Okay. The only thing that this guy asks for is your email. That's it. You go in, it says email, and that's it. You now are registered, okay? So so he has taken ownership of this statement, which is just like my client StoreLock. Now, StoreLock uh, is, is a company that uh, they make tool cabinets, these really really nice like high-end tool cabinets that you see in service stations or uh, anybody that has lots of tools you know you'll see them in you know guys garages you know that, that are that are you know that are tool fanatics right uh and they're they're fantastic they're really incredible tool cabinets and if you need a tool cabinet boy you got it you got to contact these guys but store lock those guys uh uh mike ryan and the gang over there at store lock you know, they, they have something that's just, that's along the same lines as the MyPillow uh, uh, guarantee and, or the ownership they take. You see, notice that they say that it, this is the best tool cabinet you'll ever buy. And it's guaranteed for 55 years. Now, think about this for a second. I mean, some people will, you know, some people said to me, why don't they just give it a lifetime guarantee? Well, you know what? Everybody, everybody gives a lifetime guarantee, but it always has some kind of catch in it or, uh, has, has, you know, asterisks and everything like that. Uh, well, that's not what these guys have. Now th th to say guaranteed 55 years to me is a very clever statement of essentially saying it's a lifetime guarantee. Uh, and because there are no questions asked, if you want your money back, they'll give you your money back. Uh, and it's, uh, and, and like my pillow, it's 100% made in the USA in every way. And the reason why we came up with that statement was because there are a lot of companies out there who will who use the claim of made in the USA. But what really what they really mean is it's assembled in the USA. Well, while parts are coming in from all uh, from all over the world, uh, but. Uh, it's, you know, in this one, you know, it says, you'll notice in the, in the logo, the USA logo on there, it says, uh, 100% USA components. So in other words, it is 100% USA made. So these are the things that they are capturing. You know, they, they are, they are capturing that statement. I'm, you know, we are the best in the business, the best you'll ever buy, most comfortable you'll ever buy. See, see the branding does not have to be clever. It just has to be a, a big promise that you can keep that has high value to your marketplace and then when you deliver on that promise okay then they're then they're going to be talking about you forever they're going to love you forever if you can make a very very simple promise to them that is really really powerful see these are very very simple statements they are not clever they are not cute Okay, they are you know nothing like that. It's a very very simple statement. So in my uncopyable book, which I encourage you to go ahead and pre-order, uh, you know later this week, uh, and get because because those of you who pre-order the book are going to have a chance to attend for you know uh, for free a webinar that I'm going to be putting on in, in middle of February. I know I said January before, but that was but that was before I found out that the book. It's actually being released on February 17th, 2017. So, so with that, 
Be uncopyable. One of the big powerful strategies of being uncopyable is the uncopyable branding strategy. And both my pillow and Storlock are excellent, excellent examples of doing that themselves. This is Steve Miller, better known as Kelly's dad and marketing gunslinger. Appreciate you joining me again this week for an uncopyable rambling. If you have not uh, registered to get this in your email box every week, uh, please do so. And also, you'll also find out when my book is ready. You know, if you don't want to just pre-order it, I'll be announcing when that's ready and when the webinar is ready and everything like that, too. And do me a favor, forward this to your, uh, to your Tinder contacts and uh, anybody else, please. I appreciate that very much. Like it, comment. Let me know what you think. I appreciate all the comments people are making and, and the emails. Lots of emails people are sending to me. So thank you very much. Like I said, I will be back next week again with another weekly uncopyable rambling. This is Steve Miller, better known as Kelly's dad. And always remember, be uncopyable. Thanks. Let your friends all sing.